So Jean from Raleigh is asking, what does it feel like to take Phenermine? She's worried she won't be able to handle it. I think a lot of people are very curious about this who have never, who have never yeah. taken this medication right. or have taken yeah. a stimulant um, before. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I mean, that's, you could answer this a lot of different ways. Yeah. You know, it's, it's kind of like the old, when I was in the army, you know, you know, we always say, well, the, be the best thing, uh, you know, the best practice for your PT test, which, you know, they, they graded how many push-ups you could do. Mm. The best thing to, to do to get ready for the push-up event was to do push-ups. <laughs> okay. You, you have to do push-ups. So, you know, it's like the thinner me, it's, I can sit here and talk about it, mm. but it's almost like, there's not an exact thing out there that's like it that I can, can right. it's kind of like the push up, you know, it just is the push up right. until you do some push ups, then, then you know how push ups feel. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, I, the first thing I look for in patients is so how, how do, how do you respond to just regular stimulants? So a uh, caffeine, for example. do you drink coffee? Mm -hmm. Do you drink tea, which mm -hmm. has xanthines in there? Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, and do you tolerate those things? Okay. Right. And if you can tolerate those things, okay. The chances that you're going to tolerate phenamine are very, very good. Yeah. Uh, if you can take an over-the-counter decongestant uh, like uh, phenylephrine or Sudafed mm -hmm. when you have a cold and that stuff doesn't uh, negatively affect you, uh, then phenamine is very unlikely to negatively affect you in any way. So I think maybe the way to say it is, is that um, for most people, they're more focused and alert and mm -hmm. they have a whole lot less appetite. They the, the kind of negative side effects, they don't like about it might be dry mouth. That's probably the first thing. And if you take it too late in the day, it keeps you awake. Mm -hmm. night. But we kind of talk you through all that. They do make weaker versions mm -hmm. of these things, yeah. you know, for people who don't, um, you know, maybe who don't tolerate phenamine, which is very, very few people, by the way. It is. Almost few. all people tolerate this really well. And the patients really, really like it. Mm -hmm. So I can't tell you the number of people that I know uh, patients of ours and just friends who try it for the first time and they're like, oh, why didn't I get out of the rain before now? Mm. You know, this makes such a difference. It's a, it's a yeah. unique, very yeah. unique medication in the way it works for kind of suppressing not just appetite, but the drive to eat or that constant reel in our head that we're almost like not even finished our current meal. We're thinking about what we're going to eat next, or if we just had something salty, we're thinking about what's, you know, what we need that's sweet. So that, that constant um, like thought process around food where you want to be focused on other things like your work or, you know, being able to, you know, just get through a task. But instead you're thinking about food. I mean, it's amazing and how it can really quiet that voice or just shut it off completely, like turn the volume way down on appetite and cravings. Yeah. Um, and then the side benefits are pretty profound too. I, I, I'm sure you have had all kinds of reports that people um, are happier, their yeah. mood is better, they have a lot more energy, they want to get up and move more. Um, some people actually say they have less pain and that could be secondary to they are moving more. Um, but we we find that overall, um, Gene, it, it is better tolerated than people initially worry that it will be. But we also can start with a gentler version or cut it way down. It's a tab, so you can cut it in half, you can cut it in a quarter. Um, you can take it, you know, just a few days a week. It's not the kind of medicine where you have to take it every day, although it is more therapeutic yeah. when you're taking it on That's a regular right. basis. Um, but we have lots of ways around it to help make sure you feel comfortable. Right. And Rosemary's absolutely Rose, right. Rosemary's right. You start at a half start too, right? I even start people sometimes at a quarter. Mm -hmm. I do too. I say start at, yeah, you know, yeah. you start at half, you go down yeah. if it's too much, you can go up if it's not enough. Yeah. Um, generally one pill a day is a, is a standard dose that we use, taken early in the morning. Um, and, and like Dr. Simons mentioned, a little bit of sleep, uh, a little bit of dry mouth, maybe that constipation that we mentioned at the beginning. But those are all things that get better over time and we have you know other other ways to help you around those um, those side effects um, but I, I'd say give us a call Gene if you yes. have not and you're worried you have not given us a call just because you're worried even if the phenomene is something you didn't want to do we have lots of other medications that we can talk to you about so it doesn't have to yep. be a stimulant that's right it can be something else um, and there was a question that came in about a new weight loss pill I just, mm -hmm. I'll touch on it real quick a, a pill was not um, was not approved and an injectable medication was. So 
Uh, a lot of people probably have have seen this. It was in I think the New York Times yeah. are talking about. So yeah, we we have had. Um, Thank goodness, another medication approved as an anti-obesity medication, and it is a weekly injection. It is something that will uh, require insurance coverage, so it, it won't be necessarily available, unfortunately, to everyone, but it is still a great step in the direction of having more tools to help with this medical condition. Yeah, so it's an injection. What Michelle was saying, break it down for the layperson here. Stuff's damn expensive. It's really expensive. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know any other way to put it. It works great. And if it was more affordable, that'd be helpful. But if it's more affordable, we, could do we about give that. it to yeah. everyone who wanted yeah. it. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. it, it's probably gonna run you about a thousand dollars a month. This is why most insurances don't want to cover it. Yeah. And we'd be prescribing it to everybody if you know, you know, yeah. if if it was more affordable, because it works great in combination with stuff like Fenermine. You can hit home run results. And uh, we love the company and we love their representatives. They're so kind and nice to us. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is the money's money. And, and you know, if your insurance plan doesn't cover it, a lot of them don't. Uh, this is uh, something that you're going to have to make a real financial sacrifice if you want to go on. We're happy to write it for anybody who comes here. There's very few contraindications and most yeah. people don't have them. So right. that's very, very effective. Uh, and the name is Wegovy yeah, for yeah, anyone who is curious. We it's W E G O B Y. Yeah. Wegovy, and it's not it's not exactly like metformin. It's, it's yeah. not metformin in yeah. an injection. It works a little bit differently. It's more like Saxenda, which is a medication yeah. that is also approved right. um, for um, for obesity. Uh, but it's once a week instead of the sex end is every single day. All right, Denise, thanks for making that appointment. Yes. Oh, yeah. Denise, thank you. Yeah. Good. That's right. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. All yeah. right.